So let's try to take an example that demonstrates how the input instructions XIC and XIO and output instruction work. So in the simple example, we have a normally open push button that's connected to a light using PLC. The input device provides the input module with the status of the device. Example, if it's on or off, and using this memory location within the program reflects the change. The same thing applies for an output device, where the specific memory location within the output module is to reflect any changes accordingly. So, the input device, which is the push button, is connected to the PLC input module, and the output device, which is light, is connected to the output module of the PLC. So let's see how the ladder logic program behaves when using examine if close instruction. Using XIC instruction, the instruction is only activated when the memory location is 1. So when the push button is not pressed, this means that the logic state is 0 and the instruction is false and the light will not turn on. When the push button is pressed, meaning the logic state now is true equals to 1, then the instruction is highlighted and according to the continuity, the light will turn on. XIC, examine if closed instruction, is true when the logic state equals to 1. This means that the tag assigned to that specific XIC instruction is active. Instructions read a memory location and according to the value there, it will be highlighted. So let's use the software to demo this simple example. In the simulation software, we have the push button that's connected to a light. I'm going to use the first push button with the address I10. And for the light, I'm going to use the first light. The address for the first light is 02 slash 0. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go online and then download the program to the PLC and select run mode. Now the light is off because it's an XIC instruction. As soon as I press on the push button, the light will turn on. Now let's use examine if open instruction. XIO instruction acts the opposite way. It is activated when the logic state is 0 and not activated when the logic state is 1. So let's take the same example and we are using the same connection with the push button and the light, but only changing the PLC ladder logic program by using XIO instruction. When the push button is not pressed, then this means the logic state is 0. And since we are using XIO instruction, then it's activated and the light will be on. When the push button is pressed, meaning the logic state is 1, true, this means the XIO instruction is false and it's not highlighted and the light will not turn on. XIO is true when its logic state equals to 0. This means that the tag assigned to the XIO instruction is active. Instructions again read some memory location and according to the value there, it will be highlighted. So let's use the simulation software in order to see how the program behaves when using XIO instruction. So now we are using the same wire connection. The only thing that we need to change is we need to change the instruction. There are two methods in order to change the instruction. You either right click on the instruction that you want to change and then change it to XIO instruction. Another method is you can just drag the instruction from the instruction panel. Now we are doing the same thing. We need to go online, download the program, and then click on the run mode. Notice here that without even pressing on the push button, the light is on. As soon as we press on the push button, now the memory location will change to one and the instruction will not be activated. As a result, the light will turn off. So this shows you how different the program can behave while having the same wiring connection. But the choice of either using XIC or XIO makes the difference. So as a PLC programmer, 
you need to know what to use in the program according to each problem separately.